Okay, before this part goes into the fridge, we need to come out from the oven, right? I need to still be jiggly. Okay. Do that, yeah? All right. Now, All right. go, go, go. I'll check up on you. Hi, welcome to the show. Today we have a very special guest from Australia who was born there. In fact, just like my son. And we're going to cook you one of my specialty when I used to serve Michael when he was 10 years old. It's called Costa de la Sol, which is a barramundi being cooked in a rock salt. And for dessert, we shall have cream brulee. So, everything is all prepared. This is lunch with the mix. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> is it? Okay, I'll do it. No, no worries. Hey guys, this is lunch. It's, it's done. I've done that part, okay? I think I can handle that okay, I'll, I'll, sometime. Okay, I'll, I'll let you be this okay. time. Try, try. So Catch on the show, guys. Everything's prepared. It's done? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What's up, people? For today's show, we have a very talented person coming in. Our guest has been a model, an actress, an author, and apparently now she is into fashion. Who's our guest? None other than it's Natasha Hudson, yo. Hi. Hey, hello, how are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm Welcome good. to Thank our you. kitchen. Yeah, I'm excited. I want to eat. I'm awesome. hungry. <laughs> so I know you're very talented, but are you familiar with the kitchen as well? Yes, I love cooking. Brilliant. I That's really what I want to hear. Okay, <laughs> let's meet my dad. Okay. So this is my father. Hi. Hi. Hello. I don't Hello. know how Hello. you're supposed to address him. He's uh, so cool. I'm as old as your dad. <laughs> you call me Uncle Nick. Well, you look okay. so good for uh, your age. Well. <laughs> okay, well, what would you like to drink? Free food for the whole year. Oh, the food, yeah, sure. <laughs> what would you like to drink? Did I offer you a drink? Because uh, I'm having my coffee. Yeah. I give you our ice peach tea. How's that sound? Sounds good. <laughs> Let's have a conversation. Let's find out what Natasha Hudson is really about. Where you get the Hudson from? My dad. So I'm half Aussie, half Malay. Hey, yeah. Same like you, right? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Imran Nick. That's why we're cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, your eyes switch to Thank you so much. Yeah, that sounded a bit lame. Like, that's why we're true. Because we have Aussie, so that's why we're cool. Okay, that's why we're cool. <laughs> now, but it's true. How did you get started right? into uh, this shoe business? Into the industry, okay. Industry. Well, I guess it, it's step by step. I guess since I was young, um, when I was like six, seven, my mom already put me into commercials. Mm. And then um, I've been doing commercials basically all my life as I was growing up up to a teenager and then I mean there was a phase where there were no, no jobs for a certain age mm -hmm. and then when I was about 16 I hit my basically that was it you know that was my time the um, prime time prime time yeah okay. so I was like basically doing all the big I mean I, I did experience becoming an extra before mm -hmm. before I got to carry all the main roles and then I went into my studies I did my graphic design my performing arts and then in between that I was offered to do TV shows so I Slowly did it, you know, a bit by bit, TV shows, and then Why when I... Why are you so talented? I'm not. <laughs> I was just trying. <laughs> it just you came know? naturally. I mean, being half Aussie is just, yeah. you know, like, whatever. That's why we're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you study? Is it locally or, you know, overseas? Um, when I did my graphic design was here, but when okay. I did my performing arts, I went to Chicago, so... Chicago, oh. That was a good experience. I didn't want to come back, <laughs> but I had to. Well, I guess because it was really laid back. Um, it's too hectic here, that's how I felt, but then I had to come back because of my family and no choice. So when you were here, before you left to Chicago, when you did your graphic design, you were already in the business? In the yeah, I, I was. I was I was already doing my TV show, but not into acting yet. Mm -hmm. So when I came back, um, you know, I, I uh, took a job at this graphic design firm and the hours were crazy and I just said, this is not my thing because I'm so used to making money, like quick money, you know. Mm -hmm. So And then I started travelling again with my modelling, so I went to different, different countries. Okay, so, so who do the cooking at home? Who else? Are, are, you, are you a good cook? Better than your mother? Um, you have to ask my husband that. <laughs> my mom is a great cook, but I guess I'm picking up 
but alhamdulillah, I, I love cooking. Cooking is my thing because okay. I have my kids and I have no maid. I do everything myself, oh, so I have wow. to basically. Hats off! Hats off to you! Yeah. Well done. So yeah, I, no hands, yeah. because <laughs> honestly, I'm basically a perfectionist in everything that I do. So I have to make sure that while I'm cooking, I'm cleaning. You there, Michael. I mean? <laughs> Lucky you were not born under her because she's a perfectionist. Daddy a bit easygoing, kan? Yeah. Uh, yes, lah. Yeah. I disagree. Uh, but I have to say, though, being a chef, um, being a perfectionist is one of the most important qualities. Yeah. yeah. Especially, you know, you got to be precise with everything that you, you serve to your customers. Yeah. You don't want to have, you know, thumbprints in the plate and hair here and horrible stuff. But you cooking, know what I mean. you know, cooking... So, what type of food do you cook? Western or... Mm, I can do both. Yes, yeah, yeah okay. but when I... But, when, you know, since I have, like, three kids now, I mm. find cooking, like, Western food easy. It like, is. I can just, like, marinate and just roast. You know, mm. put it, chuck it in the oven. But what is your favourite dish? Um... I love my rosemary roast chicken, which is quite simple for me. Um, we should have invited her for that particular <laughs> the rosemary yesterday. Well, I'm sorry we've already prepared a dish, but nonetheless, it's going to be an amazing one. Trust me, okay. this one is... Can't wait. This is a signature dish. Yeah. So what's it called? The Custodial Soul. You know, Baramandi, you're, you're Australian, yeah, your father's Baramandi. there. Now he's living in Queensland, right? Yeah. That's where we used to live. Yeah. Uh, Baramandi is one of the most famous fish in Queensland. So I'm going to use Baramandi, put the rocks mm -hmm. on. So I'm, I'm not going to talk too much about it. Mm -hmm. I learned this trick when I was in Costa de la Sol, south of Spain. Wow. I visited there, I saw this and wow, this is nice. And this is not normally being served in any restaurant. Yeah. Okay, so you're in for, for a treat. treat. Mm, exactly. Yummy. Okay, okay. let's go. Excited. All right, for today's show, I think we've got a very interesting personality. We want to dive into that a bit more. Mm. Tell us more of what you do now, how you got into it. We'll get onto that. Yep. But for the food-wise, uh, I think uh, we want you to take a break because you're a great mother. Uh, you're very talented. You and do I've been a lot cooking. Things. It's tiring. Exactly. So, <laughs> so no cooking for you. We just want you to see how the dish transforms before okay. your eyes. What's up? <laughs> okay. Today, we'll be cooking baramandi. baramandi. In Malaysia, they're known as siakap laut. Okay. Yeah. In Australia, this is a very famous fish. Okay, yep. especially from Queensland. I love barangays. Right. Uh, what we can do first of all is to do the stuffing for it, mm -hmm. Michael. Let's do. Let's do that. Could okay. you help me out, please? Yeah. Put up something. All right. I get it ready. Okay, you're seasoning the insides, ready? A little bit. All right. Okay. So that's, that's all. Okay, let's go. So mm. can we start do the bananas? Three bananas, please. Let's peel. Can you feel the yeah, banana? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Wait, you're not supposed to do any work. It's okay, it's just and a banana. <laughs> and of course, uh, the bread, small slices of bread. Okay. It's a very simple dish. Oh, wow. it's, it's very hands on style. Bread and okay, no. the fish. Okay. Okay. And uh, Michael, could you put all the herbs in and tell them what it is? Okay, so uh, we have a bit of uh, oregano. Mm -hmm. Oregano. Just a touch. There you yep. go. I like to use the dried ones because it has uh, more of a stronger aroma. Yep. A bit of uh, bay leaves as well. I love bay leaves. Awesome. Put it in my pasta all the time. And then uh, he's chopping up some garlic and I'm going to dice the onion. Have you put all the spices in already? Uh, yep, just the oregano and the bay leaves. Uh, there's some rosemary there, just and the leaves. Rosemary. This gives you the extra flavour. Mm. Rosemary is great with lamb, especially, you know. I love Michael rosemary. Michael used to grow up with lamb chop, rosemary and mint jelly. And to bind this, the, the, the bread is to bind it. This is the peeling for the fish. Peeling, okay. It's because when we cook the fish afterward, we put rock salts around it. This whole thing will permeate through the, the skin, yeah? So now next is the eggs. How to break an egg? <laughs> Professionally, that's it. One hand. Just one hand will do the job. Okay, Michael, please. Okay. A pinch or so. <laughs> And I shall get the tray. Okay. Let me, excuse me, please. I've never seen anyone put bread in, you know, a filling for fish. Actually, this, this, um, if you hear about this for the first time, yeah. you would think it's weird because you're putting banana and bread yeah, into the same. Weird. Yeah, but banana. trust me, it works. I mean, I've had so many, even chefs, uh, questioning me like, Nick, banana are you sure you're going to do this? I'm like, no, trust me, it yeah. works. Yeah. And you'll know it later. I want to show that he did. More bread. More bread. And uh, normally when we buy the fish, we go for about uh, four to five kilo per piece. Or the rate of um, the fish and chips. So are. do I have to use white bread or I can use you any? You can use any bread, any but bread. obviously... Right. Any um, bread. And the egg is the one that gel it together when it's cooked, mm -hmm. it's just whole piece. All right, so in goes the stuffing into the cavity mm -hmm. of the fish. So I'm going to fill up the front bit first. Wow. There you go. You have enough, I think? Yeah, more than enough. 
You can't even see the bread anymore. No, it's, it's no longer bread. It's just a nice stuff. It's going to come out as um, sort of like a pudding texture. Yeah. 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 Yummy. So it's like a savoury uh, butter pudding. Usually, butter pudding. if I have barramundi in Australia, it would just be like salted yeah. barramundi or fried barramundi. I've never tried something like this. So now, we turn it upside down. Okay? And let it stand on the belly. Stand on oh, the belly. Oh, that's how now, you... Wow. Okay. I put this on so that it'll stick it better. Okay. So you, you, you just wrap it nicely mm -hmm. with the scale on. Because when it's yeah. cooked, it just defrosts by itself. Now, this is very important to pay attention. We leave the scales on on this fish. The scales okay. are completely on. We didn't remove okay. it. Michael, please. The, get your hang on. Yeah. And so the reason why we do this is so that when you cook it, because it's a salt baked fish, right? All the juices and the flavour of the fish is intact inside. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful part is once it's done cooking, we just cut it on the side of the fins on top. Mm -hmm. And the and whole just... thing just. Wow. Yeah. And the flesh is intact. Yeah, it's Ooh. gorgeous. It's a gorgeous piece of fish. Marvelous. Looks like snow or ice. <laughs> oh, almost there. Just a moment. So, how many degrees do you put it on? Um, about 170 to 180, you want to get just slight colouring inside, uh -huh. not so brown. Yeah. Um, and then depending yeah, on size... 180 to 200, depends how the size of the yeah. fish. Yeah. So for the sauce, mm -hmm. uh, we're making a hollandaise, but in a different way, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, an addition of tarragon leaves. Okay. So from uh, hollandaise, which is classic, just egg yolks, yep. butter and vinegar, yep. we're adding a bit of tarragon. And we're going to have some melted butter. Okay. The egg, please, Simon. Eggs, eggs. Alright, egg yolks, 10 here, Daddy. There you go. Excellent. There you go, 10 egg yolks. So you need to be, it's like a figure of eight. That's a classic way I'm of I'm not a fan this, of okay? egg yolks, but... And then we shall put the tarragon vinegar in it, mm. which is here. Add up this, that's it. Alright, we're good to go. You think we need more, Michael? I think you need a bigger bowl. A bigger bowl. That's a better idea. <laughs> okay, figure of eight. Alright. So what we need to do, the melt butter, has been melted now. Okay. Okay, we leave it over here. Okay. And this is called a water bath. So there is no direct. And we keep whisking it. And we use the heat. Use the heat yeah. to cook it up. And get it thickened up but not cooked. If it's overcooked, what is it called? Scrambled eggs. Do you like scrambled eggs? This is how you do scrambled eggs. <laughs> That's the actual way without burning it. Michael, please. Continue. Yeah, okay. So? I need your help. Next. Okay. Oh, I'm getting old for this. <laughs> Yeah. While I do the sauce, I'm just going to whisk it for about another four minutes. Mm -hmm. It's going to get really, really fluffy and thick. Okay, now we need to drink this melted butter into the sauce. And this way. There you go. Start slowly. And then when it starts emulsifying, Dripping. you can continue fast. This is the show. So I know your secret now. <laughs> this is the mark of a chef. Always as a small spoon to taste everything that you cook. Come, Did you please. put salt yet? Uh, not salt yet. yet? Okay, salt okay, first. So There's sea salt. We use sea salt in our cooking also. Okay, there you go, Natasha. Please taste it. What do you think? Okay. There you go. We haven't put the tarragons okay. extra. Mm, yummy. Yeah. It, yummy. It, it's like a mayonnaise. It's much lighter, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So now you add the vinegar. Um, the vinegar is not enough. Okay. Yeah. But that's the taste. Michael, have a chat with her. I'm going to check the fish, yeah? Okay, so there's four elements in this dish, right? Okay. Uh, we have the protein, which is the fish. We have the carbo, which is the stuffing. Yeah. Then we have the salad, veggies, and also the sauce, which mm -hmm. is the bernays. So, salad, sauce, done. We just have to wait for the oven. And uh, we're going to have both the stuffing and the fish ready. All right. Daddy, how's the fish? Oh, yes, wow. coming in. Mm. Look so, at that. So Hot excited. On the oven. Okay, so now you want to see the salt crust, right? Give it a tap, Daddy. You see, when you slice it from the back with the fish, uh -huh. the whole skin just came off apart. Ready? All Thank right. you. Uno, dos, tres. tres. Voila! Oh, wow. There you go. Succulent fish. And the, and the skin just peels off just because like that. Because we left the scales on, remember? Yeah. So it's a very stiff uh, yeah, piece yeah. of skin. So if the scales were on, it would have just like... Yeah, it would, it would stick to the flesh. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
And let's just get it's that like out of the way. Mm -hmm. Now, we're doing this because we want you to taste the stuffing in it later. Not too much of that. Oh, wow. All right, okay. Ready for that? There you go. So ready. <laughs> there you go. Ladies and gentlemen. So hungry. Costa de la Sol. So I'm going to eat now. Yes. We'll try I this. just want to see your expression on the first bite. Okay, that's... With the sauce. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> doesn't taste. Hey, that's it. It doesn't taste we like. We did it again. Yeah, shut up. Wait, I have like to fish. try the feeling. Yeah, this is really? the one you said. It was, it was a weird idea, like banana and red in fish, right? Do I dip or no? Uh, I shouldn't. Your call, but I think try it on its own on first. Its own. Yeah. Now the tropical quinces come back mm. to your mind, doesn't it? I don't know what to say, but it's amazing. Don't say anything. No, 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 I'm not say. Amazing. So you believe me when I say this is a signature dish, right? Yeah. It's just I've never tried anything like this. Sticks. I mean, I still cannot digest that there is bread in there, and you know, and bananas. banana. So, and it complements that whole funkiness in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> awesome. Okay, we're gonna let you enjoy that. Um, I shall clean up so that we can start making the dessert. How do you feel about that? Excited. Alright, so that's it. Um, we're going to let her eat it. Yep. And we're going to continue with what's next, Eddie? Somewhere from France. It's called the creme brulee. Mm. Check it out. Let's clean up, Eddie. Okay, just finish that. It's yours. Stop, yeah, ya Allah. Dessert dah makan, kan? Okay, guys, the fish was like marvellous. I mean, I'm speechless. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have thought that it would taste that way. I don't know how to even describe it. Okay. Thank yeah, you. It's amazing. Are you ready for dessert? Yes, definitely. Have you heard of the famous creme brulee? Your type? Oh, no, it's special. This, this is a classic. But yes, classic, I, I yes. love creme brulee. This, this is the way creme brulee should be done. Okay. And it's, I mean, look at it. It's so simple. We've only got milk, cream, egg yolk, sugar, and vanilla. Okay. So this all goes into a pot. Can you help me with the cream, Daddy? There you go. A glass and a half. <laughs> so I use 150 milliliters for okay. each. All right. And then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. There you go. And this goes on the fire until it simmers. You don't want it to boil, mm -hmm. just uh, bring up the temperature. Okay. Uh, on the fire, please, Daddy. Okay. On the fire. I'm the apprentice here. There you go. Okay. So we are leaving that on the fire. Now, for the eggs, Daddy. So in goes the eggs. Yes, chef. Right. And your sugar? sugar? Yes, chef. So this is like how you make a cake. You gotta beat the eggs and the sugar okay. together. Right. Daddy, would you like me to do it for you? Yeah. It's okay. I mean, <laughs> you, you're very tired. I'm only Okay, let's do this. So sweet, these two. <laughs> so you're gonna mix all the sugar and egg yolks together. Okay. So basically, it's just gonna wet the sugar, right? Mm -hmm. But keep on whisking until the most important part is that all the sugar melts. Mm -hmm. It dissolves into the, the egg yolks, right? All right. So just keep on going. Alright, so that is done. Okay. See all the sugar's gone already? Yeah, yeah. How's the milk doing, Daddy? I think that looks good. You can you can bring it over. Okay, there you go. Simmer okay, enough. so this is crucial. What you're gonna do is you're gonna okay. temper the egg yolks. If you put it all in, scramble eggs. Yeah. Good. So just put a little bit to bring up the temperature slowly and then you can dump all of this in there. Oh, okay. So Daddy, if you please, just a little bit. So bit by bit? Yep. Right. You'll see you'll start feeling it to loosen up. Whoa. Okay, stop. Sorry. <laughs> There you go. See how it's uh, a lot more liquid now? It smells so nice. Yeah, that vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so this is already well tempered. Now all of this is gonna go into the pot where it's really hot. Okay. And you're gonna have some curdled eggs. Curdled yeah. eggs. So what you do is just filter it out with a sieve. Okay. So this is perfect. There you go. The consistency is what we're looking for, man. Take a couple of weeks. Thank you, sir. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to get a jug right here. Mm -hmm. Fill up with water. No need? No need? Not yet. So what would you like now? Okay, we're going to pour this oh. out so that we filter out all the okay. egg yolks, if there is any. Yeah. So if I'm if I'm a good cook, there's not going to be any, right? So let's see. True, true. Let's have a look. 
let's hope nothing. Wow. Uh, look at that simple guy. Oh, yeah. He's a good cook. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Here I've got water. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's got to have equal heat distributed around that. All right. So that water's going to help um, that happen. And when it steams up, the top's going to cook as well. Okay. Okay? So even heating right there in a water bath. And, and some sure aluminum foil. So crimp it and into the oven at 120 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. All you need to look for is that jiggle. Once you jiggle and it looks like there's a circle in the middle, you know that. that so jiggle. you can take it out. Yeah, then All you can right. take it out. Yeah, for sure. There you go. Okay. Yes, into the oven. I'll be good. Okay. Ooh. So 45 minutes that's done. Then going into the fridge first, mm -hmm. set for about at least four hours. But the best is overnight. Then we're gonna start brulee it. Oh, okay. So why not we uh, get some that's prepared? You have a seat, and we're gonna brulee it for you. All right. Are you ready for the creme brulee? Yes. So this has Can been in the, in the fridge overnight. Okay. So you can see it's already very stiff. Yeah. That's good. Some white sugar on top. Oh, so you use white sugar? Yes. Yeah. I mean, you can use brown sugar. That would be easier at home because mm. it colours easily. Yeah. But uh, white sugar is authentic way. So just one, just one, around one layer. Okay. Give it a tap. And the important part is how you tilt it when you brulee it. So this is the bruleeing part. So what if I don't have that? Then I... go buy one. <laughs> there you go. Yummy. So it's very important that after you brulee it, you've got that nice colour, right? Yep. It's still a bit liquid because mm -hmm. it's, it's hot sugar. So you let it cool down first and then the most important part, which what I want you to do, is test it. Okay. So the mark of a good creme brulee is when you crack the, the crust on top, it's like glass. Okay, so let yep. it cool down for a bit. I think it should be fine now. A bit of uh, blueberries for presentation. Yes. Voila! Okay. And so do I wait? Or crack away. <laughs> crack it? Okay. Just tap it. Tap it first, just listen to it. Yeah. Wow. It's like ice. Like, ooh. And then crack. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, but this is like perfect. Because the way it should be. Mm. Wow. Okay. A good combination, all three. Well, Michael, you're almost come to yeah. the end of the. Good job. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. My so signature much. dish. So what, honestly, what do you think of it? Well, it's my signature, signature dish oh, as well. It's mm. yours. I mean, I've, I've, I've taken it on. I mean, you've, you've, I've inherited it. <laughs> but you know, um, enough about the fish, enough about the creme brulee. Thank you so much to, to Natasha. Thank you so much for you've inviting me. I had a good time and Thank I enjoyed you. the food. It's our pleasure. I just want to stay here and live here. <laughs> You're welcome to come back anytime. It'll be a pleasure to cook for you. And thank you so much. Thank you to the viewers. We'll see you guys next episode on Lunch, Lunch with the Lakes. Lakes.